Now we'll talk about speed. If something is moving, it has to be moving at some speed. For example, your car might be moving at 55 miles per hour. Speed is a rate of change, and specifically, it's the position that is changing. And the position is changing by 55 miles every hour. That's what that speed means, 55 miles per hour. The position changes that much in that much time. Now note that miles is a unit for distance, mi. That measures distance. And hours, the h there, is a unit for time. So the unit for speed, miles per hour, is a unit of distance over a unit of time. And that fraction bar there means divided by. So it's distance divided by time. And that's actually our equation for speed. Speed, you can write this in. Speed is distance divided by time. Sometimes that equation is written using variables. You might see the letter V used for speed. When you, when you see the, the, the letter V, you can think velocity. V is x over t. That's commonly seen in a, in a physics class. And, and it means this equation means exactly this. Speed is distance divided by time. In an algebra class, it's commonly written like this. R for rate is d for distance over time. And don't, don't be confused by the different letters. It's the same thing. All three of these equations are the same thing, just written three different ways. It's the same concept. The distance divided by the time is the speed. Here are a couple of examples. In the first one, you're told you drive 180 miles in four hours. What is your speed? Well, here's our formula. Speed is distance divided by the time. So we just do that math. We put in the distance, that's 180 miles, and we put in the time, is 4 hours. And 180 divided by 4 is 45. So that's our answer. But look at this, 180 divided by 4, that gave us the 45. So the 180 and the 4 are accounted for in this answer we still have this miles per hour and we need to bring them over here into our answer as well so we just write that miles per hour that's the speed if you go 180 miles in four hours then you went 45 miles per hour on average second example here Usain Bolt runs 100 meters in 9.69 seconds well let's find it find find the speed Instead of writing speed is distance over time, I'm going to write v is x over t, but it's the same thing. This is just another way to write that equation. So v is x over t. The distance was 100 meters, and the time was 9.69 seconds. And I pull out the calculator, and I do 100 divided by 9.69. You could divide that by hand, but um, we're going to go with the calculator here. 100 divided by 9.69 comes out to 10.3 and just as before we have to keep these units on our answer so I write 10.3 meters per second and just as miles per hour is a unit for speed meters per second is a unit for speed now one thing to note here is what we have computed here the speed in both of these cases is really the average speed at times, if, if you're driving 180 miles, it's not at all likely that you're going to be going exactly 45 miles per hour the whole time. You probably started from a dead stop, and there were times when you, when you were probably going 55 or 60 or maybe faster. Your average speed was, was 45 miles per hour. And the same thing when, in the 100-meter 100, 100 dash. When Bolt runs a 100-meter dash, he starts from a stop. He's starting at a speed of zero and he reaches a top speed uh, significantly greater than this. If he goes this far, 100 meters, in this much time, 9.69 seconds, then 10.3 meters per second is his average speed. In fact, when this guy runs, and, and he did this in the 2008 Olympics, he set a world record 
for the 100 meter dash in 9.69 seconds. He reaches, when he does that, he reaches a top speed of, of around 30 miles per hour on foot, which is really just amazing. He could, he could go through my neighborhood where the speed limit is 25 and get a speeding ticket without even using a car. It's just amazing that he does that. So 10.3 meters per second is his average speed. His top speed is uh, significantly greater, around 30, not meters per second, but around 30 miles per hour.